Trzeba intensywnie odbudowywać. The first Slav Pope, John Paul II, played a key role in the fall of the Berlin Wall. It's something that is unanimously recognized by all. His first trip to Poland in June of 1979 made the Kremlin tremble. That trip did it. That, that was the detonator of this explosion that finished off the Soviet Empire in Europe. Those 10 days caused upheaval in the Soviet Empire. In all the cities he visited, the historical significance of his election was evident. It was discovered later that in December 1980, John Paul II wrote a very firm letter to the President of the Soviet Union, Leonid Brezhnev, warning him not to invade Poland. Five months later, the near-fatal attack by Aliadzka took place in St. Peter's Square. To this day, no one knows who masterminded the attack. But the Pope himself said in his last book that the Turkish terrorist had not acted alone. He was working on somebody's behalf. And somebody had also deflected the bullet. The Pope was there in his bed and was supposed to die. He himself said it frequently that he should have died that day, on May 13th. And if he didn't die, it was a maternal hand which deflected the bullet. Even the doctors who operate on him can't explain why he didn't die. It was May 13th, 1981, the Feast of Our Lady of Fatima. During his convalescence, the Pope understood that he was the bishop dressed in white, referred to in the third secret of Fatima. If Our Lady had saved him, it meant that the rest of the message of Fatima could also be fulfilled. Our Lady of Fatima had explained to the three little shepherds that Russia had to be consecrated to the Blessed Virgin Mary in order for the communist totalitarianism to fall. In 1984, in St. Peter's Square, the Pope consecrated Russia to Our Lady of Fatima, and the only living visionary, Sister Lucia, finally confirmed that what the Virgin had asked for 65 years ago had occurred. From then on, history took a turn. Gorbachev was elected, the Berlin Wall fell, and all the nations under Soviet domination gained freedom. There were five years that changed the world, thanks to the Polish Pope's fortitude. Even Gorbachev himself recognized it. In 1996, John Paul II crossed the Brandenburg Gate in an already united Europe. It was a poignant sign that the message of Fatima had been entirely fulfilled. In the year 2000, John Paul II visited the Portuguese shrine again, this time to beatify the other two little shepherds who had seen the Virgin Mary. And he left his pastoral ring at the feet of Our Lady. It was the ring that Cardinal Wyszynski, his spiritual father, gave him. Sister Lucia's death in February of 2005 finally put an end to the mystery of Fatima. It was from this tiny Portuguese village that John Paul II broke down the Berlin Wall with Our Lady's strength.